In this video, we're going to take a look at dividing fractions. First, we're going to take a look at why we do what we do when dividing fractions and use that to establish a pattern to divide fractions. We'll recall that the division bar can really be thought of as a fraction bar. And so what I'm going to do is rewrite this problem as 3 fourths with a big fraction bar representing the division and 5 sevenths underneath it. Now what's weird about this is we have a fraction in the denominator of a fraction and we're not really used to dealing with that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the top or the numerator by something and the bottom or the denominator by something. And what we'll find out is as long as we multiply the top and bottom by the same thing, the fraction remains equivalent. We also know that the one number we can ignore in the denominator of a fraction is 1. Anything over 1, we'll just focus on the numerator. So we need to know what we can multiply 5 sevenths by to completely eliminate the 5 sevenths. Fortunately, this is quite easy to find because to get rid of the 5, we would need it to divide out with a 5 in the denominator. And to get rid of the 7, we would need it to divide out with the 7 in the numerator. What we'll do is we will multiply by the reciprocal of that second fraction on both top and bottom. When we do, the 5's and 7's divide out and all we're left with is the multiplication problem on top. 3 times 7 is 21 and 4 times 5 is 20 and we'll have our solution. In other words, what we've done is we haven't really done any dividing at all. We crossed that out. What we've really done is change the division problem to a multiplication problem by multiplying by the reciprocal. Whenever we see division, we'll follow this pattern to always multiply by the reciprocal. In other words, on this second problem, 21 sixteenths divided by 28 over 6, instead of dividing, we will change the second half of the problem to multiplying by the reciprocal. We don't have to show all the work of before, we simply have to show 21 sixteenths is now multiplied by the reciprocal of 28 over 6, which is 6 over 28. And then we're ready to solve this problem, possibly by reducing first. On the first diagonal, 21 and 28, we'll notice are both divisible by 7. 21 divided by 7 is 3 and 28 divided by 7 is 4. 6 and 14 on that diagonal also have a common factor of 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 16 divided by 2 is 8. And now we're ready to multiply straight across on this fraction. Left in the numerator is 3 times 3 or 9. In the denominator, 8 times 4 is 32 and we get our final solution of 9 over 32. Division with fractions is simply a multiplication problem with one extra step. We will always start by multiplying by the reciprocal.